What you guys got another video here for you. This one was requested by a couple of my subscribers on how to clean up Windows 10 and make your PC much faster. Now making your PC a lot faster by doing this is a bit of a placebo effect, but I'll go ahead and use that title because everyone else seems to be using it. So let's go ahead and open up the settings pane here and we're gonna go into system and then we're gonna go down to storage. Now inside storage, you will see storage uh, sense which is a new area which is added to uh, the Windows 10 operating system now a lot of people wanted to know about storage sense so I thought I'd add it in this type of video and that way I don't have to make a separate video for it on its own but you can see here it's monitoring all of the computer you can configure storage sense by clicking on here and run a scan if you wish we'll open this up and we can turn storage sense on once we turn it on, Windows will take care of dealing with running Storage Sense whenever we want it to do, and it will clean up um, information on the system, junk information basically like uh, temp files and stuff like that. You can do it weekly, daily, or whatever. So I'm going to put month, and on here we can delete uh, temporary internet files as well. We can set this to whatever you like, and I'm going to just leave that as, uh, say, 30 days. And of course, delete the downloads folder, which always gets uh, built up with stuff. You can de delete that stuff every 14 days and you can run a clean now scan just like so, and it will clean it. Now also this will run it automatically once you've run the clean now to free up space, and this will do it automatically behind the scenes, which means you don't have to use programs like CCleaner anymore, because this does a lot of the, the same sort of stuff. Now, of course you can always use uh, batch files and stuff like that and set those up if you wish if you're a little bit more techy but basically it's just deleting all the junk off the system a good old favorite is the old disk cleanup tool and this has been the same tried and trusted for many years because it's been built into windows for many years and this will do the same sort of thing it will allow you to remove all of the junk files from windows you see recycle bin temporary files and there's a bunch of other stuff in here like downloads and things like that so normally once you've ticked all these you can go ahead and uh, click on the clean up system files and it will allow you to clean more system files on the system so once you've done all your ticking you can click on this button here and this will open up another box so click ok start getting some information and calculating and it will open up another box which is very similar to the last box but except you've now got a bunch of other stuff on here which is the windows update cleanup you can see there's 3.19 gigabytes in here and there's a bunch of other stuff inside here which you can remove as well once you've got all your boxes ticked you can click ok and run that you've also got a more tab up here which is more options and this will allow you to uninstall programs and uh, delete all your system restore points if you're uh, collecting those they do take up a lot of space now you can see in here this is all your programs you can uninstall all the programs that you don't use anymore and this will course will free up space and of course clear all those shadow copies which is your system restore copies and then make a new fresh one okay so let's move on to the next step which is going into your power settings so we're going to go into power and sleep settings here and inside here we're going to go into power and sleep and on the right hand side next we're going to go into the advanced power options and inside here you'll see uh, because i've got a ryzen processor it's give us a bunch of other stuff here uh, but basically you can set this up a like go into change your plan settings for whichever one you're in and then inside here you need to make sure that's set to uh, never the sleep bit if you want to see a bit more here you can change the advanced settings and go into where it says sleep and uh, inside here put the ne to never and also hibernate put that and it says on turn it to off and this will save up a lot of um, memory as well so we're basically gonna turn those off because Windows does uh, require to reserve a bit of memory for those now if obviously if you're using the sleep feature then obviously leave that enabled but don't know who uses uh, sleep or hibernate anymore in 2019 because it's never ever worked properly in the first place so now we're going to go into the 10 apps manager here and this is made by the windows club and you can remove a bunch of apps that are built in to windows you can see 3d builder here 
and you can uninstall these by clicking on them. You can also reinstall them from here as well. And there's a bunch of them inside here which you can go through and remove. Now I've done videos on cleaning up all this stuff before so I'm not going to spend too much time on hit on this. I wanted to show you this little app because this one might be useful for people that are not familiar on uninstalling some of these and also might not know how to use the PowerShell feature to remove some of these which you might have to use. So you just go through and select the ones that you want to remove. You can click on remove all and it's also uh, please create a restore point before uninstalling and that is important just in case something goes wrong. Always make restore points or backups of your data before you start tinkering or tweaking your system. Now once you've uninstalled all of these, this will remove a lot of the old uh, junk from the system which is programs that have been forced upon you by Microsoft. Now of course you can go into the apps setting inside Windows 10 and remove those from there as well. You can also use the reinstall here. But let me just quickly show you the app setting here just in case you want to go in there and remove them uh, manually from the system. So let me close this off because I think we've done these now. And I'll just quickly go to the start button here, settings, and then we'll go into apps and you can see them all listed here and you can uninstall from here by clicking on them and uninstalling them. So go through here, select the ones you want to uninstall and uh, just click uninstall. Now some of them are built in and you won't be able to uninstall and you'll have to force uninstall them using PowerShell and things like that. But you can see here maps and stuff, you can uninstall all this if you don't use it. So go through there and, uh, and remove those uh, from that location. Next up, we're taking a look at Tree Size. Now, Tree Size has been around a long time. It allows you to free up space a lot easier on your system. It tells you uh, where all of the space is being used by using this little graphing here. Makes it easier to find stuff on your system and make a decision whether you want to delete that from the system to clear up space. And you can see it's all in uh, order here. We've got name of your folder tree here. And you've also got allocated size, files, folders, percentage and last modified. Now there's a bunch of other features on here which you can go through up the top here. But as you can see here, you can just go in and weed out where all of your data is being used and where the folder is the most full and go ahead and look at those folders and remove them. So you can see this is only 3.8%. So it's not a large amount of data because I'm always cleaning this system up and plus it's a fresh install. But if you want to delete stuff inside this temp folder, uh, you can do and you can go inside here and remove it. It's very simple. You can highlight all of this stuff and you can got the right click context menu here, which you can just delete and it will delete all that stuff. Now, if it can't delete stuff because it's in use, because I'm recording the screen at the moment, also IQ is using stuff, which is my RGB stuff. It will let you delete all that content. I can't delete these because they are in use with the recapture software, which I'm using at the moment. So this is basically how you can uh, find data on the system, which is being stored in folders, which you want to clear out. And it's very useful and uh, to have on the system. I'll try and remember to leave the links for all this stuff in the video description for you so make it easy for you to download. So let's go ahead and move on to the next bit, which is the good old startup. So we're going to go down to the search bar here, right click and go to task manager here. Open up task manager and we'll go to the startup tab. And there's a bunch of stuff in here. Now, I remember many years ago, there used to be rakes of stuff inside here in people's PCs booting up and it used to slow the boot up process. In Windows 10, it's not so bad nowadays. I don't think people hoard as much stuff as they used to do in the old days, but you can just right click on these and disable them and it will stop those booting up and uh, loading up on startup, which will slow down the boot up process a little bit. So you can go through and I think this is an old sort of thing that people did from the early days. So you can go through and disable startup items that you don't want starting up at the beginning of the boot up se sequence. So we're going to go into services here. Now I'm not going to spend too much time in here because I've done videos on this before and I just want to touch on a few bits and pieces inside here. Now there's a bunch of more common ones which we don't use on anymore on Windows 10. Now if you do use any of these then please skip some of these because some of these might be useful to you 
but if you're not using certain features on these then you can disable them now if you don't know what these are then you'll need to do your own research because if I explain exactly what every one of these do the video will become too long and people will moan now of course you can see here download maps manager I don't use the maps feature on Windows 10 but if you do then leave it enabled I'm disabling it the fax feature I don't use fax on Windows 10 if you don't use it I'm disabling it and you get the general idea if you don't know what a fax is then you need to go and do a bit more research but basically we're going to go through here and disable a bunch of uh, ones that I don't use on this system like offline files I'm going to be disabling this now use a bit of common sense when it comes to disabling services because these are a service for something that it needs to run on your system so like parental controls if you are using uh, parental controls on Windows 10 then don't disable it because it won't work print spooler is the same thing if you disable that your printer uh, might not work properly if you need those features there's a bunch of other things on here like remote support and uh, other things uh, that you might want to disable and not disable so do your research portable device emulator service I'm disabling this you may need that so don't follow what I'm doing use your common sense and uh, only disable the stuff that you're not using if you do find that you suddenly need to use that then you can re-enable it this one is called program compatibility assistance service I'm going to be disabling this and uh, disabled that one and there's a bunch of other stuff on here like remote registry I'm going to disable and also retail demo service I'm going to disable this I've already got remote registry disabled as you can see there and uh, there's also a secondary logon which I can disable so I'm just going to disable this one as well there it is and click disabled there's also other things like TCP IP NetBIOS helper if you're not using that part as a, a work group on your network then you can disable features like that but if you are using that feature then do not disable it because you'll have trouble okay um, but touch keyboard and handwriting uh, panel service I'm not going to be using any of that stuff so you get the general idea I'm just going through here with a fine tooth comb and disabling stuff okay this is not deleting it it's just disabling it I can always come back in here if I need to re-enable stuff that is not working correctly if I've made a mistake I'll quickly speed the rest of this process up here and uh, I'll leave the list in the video description so you can follow along and disable some of these if you wish just take it with a grain of salt because it's some of these you might need enabled it's like having Bluetooth on if you don't need Bluetooth you can disable it use your common sense anyway let's move on to the next step which is called dupe guru now dupe guru is a piece of software we can use to scan the system to find duplicate files on the system now if you've got loads of duplicate files which a lot of us do have because we've got such large drives we just download loads of stuff and there could be duplicates of everything and it allows you to find those files and you'll be able to delete them from the system this can save up a lot of space on the drive next up I'm not going to spend too much time it's called ONO shut up 10 once you run it go to the actions and then apply only recommended settings and click yes and it will disable all the tracking and telemetry it doesn't need to uh, be installed on the system you can run this um, and it also creates a restore point which is a nice feature I've covered this so many times I don't want to spend too much time on it but basically do that and all of the tracking and stuff will be removed from the system and uh, it makes uh, Windows 10 a lot more pleasurable to use if it's ever been pleasurable in the first place but you get the general idea so once you can see here once I do a reboot a lot of this stuff will be removed now do not go for the aggressive disable everything because you can see here it will disable stuff like microphones and things like that which can lead to problems when you go to do a Skype call or using your um, microphone for audio recording tutorials gaming loads of other issues and this will be under apply all settings do not run that one because it's quite aggressive you need to know what you're doing but apply only recommended settings is probably what I'd recommend so let's move on 
to the next bit it wants to restart the system so I'll quickly go ahead and do that and uh, I'll be right back so let me go ahead and restart the system now next up what I'm going to do is once I've restarted is run a script here which will delete all the temp files and all the junk on the computer this is just a batch file that I run and this will clean up any rubbish that's on the system and this normally uh, works pretty well so I'm just going to give this a run run this as administrator and you can see a bunch of stuff will get deleted on the system there we go and that's how quick and easy that is that's why batch files are the king and I do love them and they are still used in 2019 especially on my PC because I enjoy them so much it makes life a lot easier no more programs to worry about this will do a lot of that stuff for you and it will do it very quickly and that's basically it we freed up a load of space and also removed a lot of junk programs uh, stopped a lot of startup programs and also uh, configured our storage sense and run cleanup tools to uh, clean up the system and you should now find the system is working a lot more better and you freed up a lot of space now does it improve the performance of the PC and make the PC super fast as everyone recommends no it doesn't that's a placebo effect but as you can see here these will make your system a lot faster SSDs M.2 M NVMe drives and also extra memory will speed up the system and make your PC a lot faster these are what I recommend to speed up the system I see it so many times where PCs are using um, 4 gigabytes of RAM and it's got Windows 10 I think we had one of those the other day in our discord server and they wondered why their system was running slow it's because Windows even though it says recommended settings uh, is very low it does take a lot more than that to run a Windows 10 operating system anyway by using these steps you will be able to free up a lot of space on your system and also clear out a lot of clutter which will make you feel like your Windows 10 operating system is running super fast when really what makes it run really super fast is having a faster processor having uh, more RAM in the system and also having uh, an SSD in the modern day if you've not got an SSD in your system whether it be an old laptop or a desktop it just speeds up things so much more and uh, it doesn't matter what tweaks you do or whatever uh, other stuff you do to a Windows 10 operating system it will not uh, match what you can do with just a simple upgrade of your PC hardware just remember those things because tweaks are a thing of the past really they don't really make a massive difference to performance of a computer and I don't care what anyone says that is exactly what I believe and I do believe that is correct anyway just a quick thank you to everyone who helped me achieve the 400,000 subscriber milestone I really do appreciate it guys thanks a lot and thanks for all your support I really do appreciate uh, you pushing me to that 400,000 subscribers let's see if we can get to 500,000 or even a million who knows but we'll give it a go I'll be here keep creating content for you guys as long as you keep watching anyway my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again and thanks for your support bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos <laughs>